Hey guys, welcome back. It is Watch Us Homeschool Wednesday and I am Laura Wilkie. I am sharing with you guys kind of our day in the life videos. This is a whole series so you can go back into the playlist. If you missed it, it is linked below and you can check out more videos just like this, a firsthand glance into what it looks like in our home as we homeschool each day. So I thank you guys for joining me. If you would like to join as well, add the tag, tag me on Instagram or Facebook. Let me know that you're joining and I will be happy to watch your videos. In the meantime, check out this Christmas tree farm. How cool is that in the snow? The Christmas trees are still growing and doing awesome. And this adorably tiny little church from way back when. Look at that. Can you imagine a tiny little church? So this morning we are having biscuits and gravy. These are homemade biscuits. This is kind of my baby. This is like the recipe that I created, um, went through several different recipes when we first went to one income and I was trying to find something that would be simple enough to do on an everyday basis, but um, wasn't something that was like roll out the dough and cookie cutter the biscuits and all that. Um, I just don't have time for that. I don't know who does, it's not me. <laughs> so I wanted something that was simple and quick and versatile. We actually use this same recipe with our dumplings, like for chicken and dumplings. And it's the same recipe that I use for garlic biscuits in the evenings, like with dinner or honey biscuits or just anything that's like a bread like thing. It's just really versatile. So that's what we're doing today. Biscuits and gravy. It's one of our favorites. And some of the kids are going to do jelly, of course. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure we go through, I mean, we could have stock and jelly. The amount of jelly we go through with peanut butter and jelly and biscuits and pancakes, they throw it in oatmeal. I, I don't know, anybody else, just me? Um, so anyway, these are super simple. We love this recipe. And um, if you're, you wanna try it, let me know what you think, guys. I would love to know that. So leave me a comment below if you try it yourself and if your family enjoyed it. We also do these with cheddar um, in the evenings for like a cheddar biscuit. So they work well, they're perfect. Now I normally would have made these in my larger pan, but you can see it has cornbread from last night because we did chili and cornbread. So I'm doing two pans today. This is the gravy. Gravy is so incredibly simple to home make. I did not realize until I started doing things homemade how simple gravy is to make. It is literally, we just do bacon grease. I do save that after we make bacon in a jar. And um, I just add in milk and flour, salt and pepper and done. Um, stir it up and it's done. You don't need to buy the dollar or dollar fifty packet at the store. You can do it at home for so much less. So there you go. There's the biscuits. Yay! Happy morning. Happy biscuits. Okay, so in last week's Watch Us Homeschool Wednesday video, I showed you guys my husband tuning the guitars. Um, and I mentioned that my husband and I both, neither one of us actually play guitar, but we were going to start guitar lessons, teaching them in our home with our kids. So how is that gonna work? Um, we have acquired over the years, several guitars. Um, one was my husband's when he took a class in high school. I did take a class in college. This is the book we are using and I'm finding it to be super, super good and simple. It does have audio links online so you can listen to these, but I really don't think we need to. And uh, at least not in these early first few pages, but it shows you exactly how to read the music, how to where to put your hands. My kids I do have a history, at least the oldest three of piano. They have um, played piano for several years, so they do have a music background. I don't know if that helps at all, but um, it has. I don't know if it's just because they're older, because we actually started this years ago when my oldest there was little like first grade and we did pretty well but we just got so far and then we're like no i don't know so we are picking it back up now um because obviously in our tiny home we don't have our piano so we are trying something new we're trying guitar and it's actually going much better um i'll have to show you guys some more of this as we progress but i think it's going to be good 
I also showed you guys how we do spelling and I talked about how um, we would have a passage and the kiddos would go through and pick out the words they probably needed to practice and then they would practice those throughout the week and then this is their spelling test so they are drawing lines on a piece of paper because we have these blank sheets of paper they're drawing lines to use them to write down their spelling test which is actually the dictation so I'm going to say out loud the passage that they had practiced and learned at the beginning of the week and now they are going through and writing it um, including punctuation I will try to show you guys some more of this in more detail um, but just to give you an idea if they do get a word wrong since we do not want them to learn the words incorrectly if I watch and I see that they are writing it incorrectly I do go ahead and correct them um, we circle the word and then they continue to practice it next time but um, we don't want your children to learn a word incorrectly and sometimes that can happen when they continue to write it over and over thinking they have it the right way so I do correct them as I'm watching them go through this we have been working hard on our winter projects one of our winter projects I did a whole video talking about our winter projects it's linked below but one of them was braiding not just friendship braiding but hair braiding too so I wanted us to practice and learn these skills I will say some of these have been more challenging than we expected and some of them have been easy peasy but we've been using that purple book there I did talk about that I got that on book outlet in my last book outlet haul video so you can go back and look there where I talk all about that book but it has been super helpful my oldest there is 12 and she has been able to use that book and actually kind of take off with this project it has been super cool to watch but she has um, we did a couple together and then she took the book and ran with it and has made so many different ones i think there's 10 options in the book and she has i think made almost all of them so she has been making everybody in the house friendship bracelets and it has been really fun she actually just got online and ordered more of the embroidery strings so that she could make more and my little one, she has pulled out her magnetiles. We had those under the RV. We do have a large storage space under the RV, which has been helpful um, in homeschooling. I had another mama ask me, where are you putting all these things, these books and things? And that's where they're going. <laughs> so um, with all the snow, the little pup pup is wanting to play fetch and run around. And there's not a ton of spots where she can do that like she could. So. Um, I found that if I just throw the ball right out the door, um, that kind of works. I stay warm and she still gets to play. <laughs> this is my 14 month old and she is practicing her signing skills. She knows several signs and that is always exciting when the little ones start to learn new things. And so she's been doing more and um, all done and it's just been really fun to watch her learn. I am definitely with you mamas. I am homeschooling with little ones in tow. Um, I think they call it in the trenches when you have little ones, infants and toddlers, and I've kind of had them all along. So we have always homeschooled with infants and toddlers and you just have to adjust your schedule accordingly and things aren't always picture perfect, but you go through and make do with what you got and that's how it works. Now it doesn't happen often, but every once in a while, mama has something up her sleeve. So after their spelling test, I had them, I taught them how to do the old fashioned notes fold, I guess, the notes that we would send and pass in school the way that we would fold them. And I taught my kids how to do that because how fun, right? In all honesty, I'm actually quite shocked that I even remembered how to do it. I really just remembered the first step, the folding the corner down, and then I guess I don't know it was just muscle memory from that point and i just folded it and it came about but they did think that was kind of fun and cool so there you go mamas are cool 
These were our sandwiches from our food science lesson I shared with you guys last week. And coming up on Friday, I'm going to walk you guys through step by step how we teach food science in our homeschool, the books that we use, and how, most importantly, how we use them. Um, but after we learned about sandwiches around the world, they got to make their own sandwiches. Just a fun way to kind of bring that together into a close and learning. Today we are practicing, we, we didn't do our math lesson today, so we are practicing our math skills with flashcards. And these are the same flashcards that I showed you guys in my book outlet order if you want to go over there and check that out. But um, yeah, we're just doing flashcards. The girls are paired up and I am paired up with my uh, third little one. Now what you don't get to see in this video is um, after he went through the whole deck, he challenged Mama to see if I could get them all correct as well. And I'm going to say I did pretty good. So um, that was fun for him to kind of be the teacher too. Sometimes you can combat that tension or that, um, that fight against the wills if you just join in with them and let them kind of take over that that authoritative figure. So I let him be the teacher and he quizzed me and he thought that was that was fun. So sometimes you just got to do that. Now we just had a little cold snap come in and um, it has been super cold for the past few days. So we are going to warm up with some old fashioned hot chocolate. And this is a new recipe for me. I just learned it about a month and a half ago um, when I was talking about the Victorian studies that we were doing. And I was sharing lots of videos about Victorian traditions and Christmas and all of those things. And this is one of the recipes that I got to learn. And it is the old fashioned hot chocolate. I have always wanted to make old fashioned hot chocolate. Um, you know, they didn't go to the store and buy a canister of Swiss Miss or Nestle chocolate or whatever like we do um, they didn't have a little pouch and mix up some hot water with a little pouch of powder they didn't do it that way so I wanted to do it how they did it and this is not exactly right because they probably would not have used like a cocoa powder they probably would have used more of like a chunk of chocolate but very close. So I am sharing this recipe with you guys. It is absolutely the best hot chocolate I have ever had. And um, my one mistake was we had this right at uh, right before bedtime. So we had a few wired kids <laughs> that we struggled getting them to lay down. But um, it is absolutely delicious and a good way to warm up in these cold days. But um, I actually multiplied this recipe for six kids. So it is the recipe times six. But for one person, it's super simple. I've shared it with you there at the very bottom of the screen, um, but it's super easy. And let me tell you, it is super great and delicious. And it looks like it's a win all around. I do believe they all enjoyed this. It looks like this guy couldn't get enough. <laughs> um, just a fun way to end the day. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. I hope that you watch on Homeschool Fellowship Friday coming up. Like I said, I'm going to share with you guys our food science, walk you through how that looks, what it, what we do, the books, how I utilize the books, um, all of those good things. Um, if you haven't already, definitely comment. Let me know you're watching, like the videos, and please share them in those homeschool groups because I'm not allowed to do that. Um, all of those groups have regulations that uh, prohibit people from promoting themselves. So if you'll share them for me, I would appreciate it. Thanks, guys.